to my channel my name is Kara and this is Kara style where I share with you my upcycling journey and low waste lifestyle and in today's video I am sharing how to make scrunchies we're gonna be making crochet scrunchies from this unravel sweater that I've shared a tutorial last week so if you're looking to unravel your own sweater or a sweater that you thrifted go check out this tutorial to learn how to unravel it and then in today's tutorial we're gonna be making scrunchies so the wavy ruffle scrunchies this is the one that I'm showing in the video where you can create like the like the nice ruffles with the double stitch and this is when you continue to make the ruffle like the same technique but continue to add more thread it becomes like a coral this is a nice way to upcycle your yarn and make it into a fun cute scrunchie materials a scrunchie a scissor and your crochet hook this one is usg6 which is pretty much four millimeters so pretty much what you want to do is prepare your hook you're going to take the tail of the yarn ball and create a loop like a knot but do not pull it do not pull an actual knot just simply create this loop here where you can insert your hook and pull the yarn to start stitching and what you're going to do first is your chain stitch just simple stitches all around all around your elastic scrunchie it is a single crochet around the elastic scrunchie until filling it in i pretty much don't go by a certain number of stitches once i see the scrunch once i see the scrunchie fully filled in i continue filling it in with the single crochet until finished so what you do is take your hook and you bring it down over i like to take out the hook just to have it more comfortable you really want to make sure you feel comfortable when crocheting and so I take my hook, go over the elastic, pull the yarn in. Um, I have two stitches there in my hook. I take then the yarn and then I bring it over. Also, notice how I move the hook tip of the crochet hook and twist it down to create these stitches. That's what you want to see. And you want to be consistent with your tension. The more consistent your tension is, meaning the shape of your stitches, the better it's going to look. So this is what you want to continue until fully filling it in. With the slip stitch is going to be our next part. So pretty much once I fill it in, I go inside the first stitch that I made. I take the yarn, pull it over the hook, and I'm gonna move it in. Like, be careful not to like hit that stitch, but you wanna twist it down. You're gonna have two stitches there, and now you're gonna take that, the, the stitch on the top, and put it inside the second one. Now I'm gonna start my chain stitches. I'm gonna create three chain stitches three times. Now, once, now that I have those three stitches, I'm going to create a double stitch three times inside the stitch next to it so three times i am going to enter a double a double a double crochet inside the stitch three times a double crochet inside the stitch three times inside then i move on to the next stitch and repeat i move on to the next stitch and repeat and if you feel like i'm going too fast you could always slow down or speed up the tutorial but as you can see now i'm going to move on to the next one that next one is where i'm going to enter three double crochets once i have those three double crochets then i move on to the next stitch take your time and make sure you are going three times inside that same stitch because if you're not consistent then the ruffles won't be consistent so you're going to have a very irregular pattern so to make sure everything stays consistent you enter make, take your time and enter three double crochets twice inside the stitch to move on to the next and i continue this until fully going all around and returning where i started Now that I've reached the part where I started, I go inside that first stitch, I'm going to create a slip stitch. So very similar to the first time, a slip stitch. And now I start again. I'm gonna do a second layer of the double crochet. The second layer is the same thing. I create three stitches first, 
then now I'm going to double crochet three times inside that stitch. Then I continue this pattern until fully, fully filling it in and repeating the double crochet all around to return to the initial part where I started. So this is a pattern that is super easy because you're repeating the same stitch in two layers. You're going to see at the end of the tutorial where I show you how it looks when you repeat it three times. Right now I am showing you a scrunchie where I'm creating the double crochet three times with two layers and it looks wavy and it has this texture and it looks really pretty. Yeah, this is how it's going to start looking. As you can see, the consistency is key if you want to make sure it stays even and clean. If you want to make sure it stays even, this is what you want to do. Remain with the three double crochets inside the stitch. Move on to the next and keep your tension consistent. Once I go all around, the last thing to do is slip stitch. Once you slip stitch, you take your scissor, you cut the tail of the crochet yarn and you are almost done there are yarn yarn needles to help you sew in the yarn tail of your yarn for your project so this little tail here we have to sew it in and the nice thing about yarn needles is that it has a large eye so you can easily take the yarn and ins insert it inside the eye of the needle and now pretty much there isn't this like specific technique you do not have to like tie it all you have to do is take the needle and the yarn and sew it in between the previous stitches so it's not seen i continue doing this until filling it in or going as far as i can important news some yarns will be difficult to to crochet so i would recommend to make a sample take a bigger hook and practice first crocheting with that yarn before you go to the scrunchie because like i said like this texture it was difficult to crochet because you can't really see the stitch so take your time this is something that the more you do the faster you'll be able to crochet to just pretty much sew the tail in and once you do that you are finally done with your crochet scrunchie and it looks so pretty 
It looks so pretty and cute. The spiral, the ruffle, it just gives it a nice pop, especially when scrunchies have this really nice bold color. It gives character and personalization to your outfit. Like your outfit is fire. The texture of this technique is beautiful. You can see if you continue adding yarn, it becomes more and more like a coral. You can still wear it and it looks really cool and beautiful and it's easy. If you're a first time crocheter, this is a great project because you learn the basics of a chain stitch and then how to create a double stitch to continue adding the ruffles to your scrunchie. All the steps and the instructions of this how-to is also right in the description. So if you go to the description, you're going to see all the tools, a summary of the instructions, and if you have any questions, make sure to add it into the comments. I'll answer as soon as I can. And if you made it this far to the video, please use this emoji to let me know that you've made it to this point of the video. Keep on shining, and we're here to make sustainable fashion con sazón with spice. A lot of the tutorials, vlogs that I share with you is looking at fashion through a holistic point of view, through a lens of not looking at sustainability just because it is eco-friendly. No, this is an opportunity to create a journey, a mindset change where what you decide on making, buying, and sustaining in your closet is a representation of your value. Fashion is not limited to what mainstream media provides no fashion is a way of living it is an action it is taking your own decisions and expressing your own creativity so whenever you make your own clothes transform it stitch it add your art to it you are wearing art you're wearing couture you're wearing something handmade for you that's why you are a star and an affirmation here in Kara style is i am a star it is an affirmation to celebrate yourself wherever in the journey you are in that's the great thing about picking up fashion as a lifestyle choice because here in Kara style sustainable fashion is that you pick up a craft you see where you started to where you are now and you see yourself grow. It is a true representation of your journey and who you wish to become, achieve, and just overall feel. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when I upload a new video. I will see you next time. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesdays are vlogs with Kara and Sundays are sewing tutorials with style. All done in Kara style. Keep on shining.